Welcome back to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. We are moving in to our celebrity segments of today's episode and talking about The Rock, who, um, of course, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, is considered a trailblazer of two industries based on the numerous strides he's made in pro wrestling and in Hollywood. In a recent social media post, Johnson revealed that the Guinness Book of World Records has now recognized two more of his impressive achievements. Taking to X, Johnson revealed that the Guinness Book of World Records has confirmed the veteran pro wrestler as both the, quote, most followed actor on TikTok and the most followed American man in the world. He writes, cool stuff at cool stuff setting a at GWR, most followed actor on TikTok, most followed American man in the world, he wrote. Not too bad for a pimply faced kid with an afro who grew up to become famous only for wearing a fanny pack and raising an eyebrow. I've always asked, what's the key to having real power and influence in social media? Speak directly and shoot from the hip. Be real and be authentic. Be kind and be good to people. Share the lessons you've learned, good and bad. Laugh at yourself. Don't get pulled into negative sludge and never contribute to toxicity. Laugh at yourself some more. And always remember the golden rule. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. P.S. And drink tequila. (laughs) (laughs) Coming off a strong WWE WrestleMania 40 performance, it seems like Johnson is on a roll. Currently, the star is filming his next movie, The Smashing Machine, which is set to be released later this year. If the film, film ends up being a hit, 2024 could be one of the most successful years for Johnson in recent years. The name Smashing Machine, that doesn't sound good, though. That doesn't sound like, like oh, yeah, I got to go see the Smashing Machine. It could be so many different things, though. Like, that, that could be a lot of different... <laughs> that could be a lot of different types of movies, let me just say. Okay. What do you think about The Rock and his... That's movies? impressive. That he is the most followed man on the planet is amazing. It's not LeBron. It's not Ronaldo. It's not the Pope. Is is you know it's not it's not President Biden or Donald Trump or Vladimir Putin. Well, to be clear, he's the most followed American man in the world. Okay. Um, okay, I'm like, what? The most followed actor on TikTok. So actor specifically on TikTok. Okay. The most followed American man in the world. So I think okay. There is that. There. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. That I'm that's impressive. If he's the most followed man on the planet. I don't know if they have them for each com- country. Is there the most followed German man in the world? The most followed followed. You know, I don't know. I'm just curious if the if the Pope is updating his uh his his uh his ex account. <laughs> no, I want to see if the Pope is doing it himself. Pope himself. You know, he's in the Pope mobile and he's over there. And he's he's doing his TikToks. I want to know if you love me TikToks and everything. Yeah, I, I I like it. Um, still impressive. Very. Listen, I am not the most followed man in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Let alone, <laughs> and I'm the only. I'm the only. I'm the only guy in my house. Say, who is the most followed man in your house? Aren't you the only one? Listen, the dogs actually get more followers than I do. You know, so it's just one of those things where it's just kind of like that. It is impressive. It, this is even more impressive because I was worried that The Rock made a misstep. This year, I was truly concerned. The Rock turning heel for WrestleMania was a shocker to me because he is such a baby face and he's like the ultimate baby face. And for him to turn to a, a, and do and be a heel and really sell it, really sell it hard. And it ended up being it it would it was huge. And the Rock and Cody Rose and how big that was. And then Cody finally getting, beating Roman Reigns, ending Roman Reigns' reign as champion. But then the Rock leaving, but dropping the little, the little nugget that he's coming back and he's going to be settling it up with Cody. That was, that is a risky move, calling himself the final boss. These are all things that could go wrong and hurt someone's popularity whose livelihood depends on being 
popular and loved. You know, if, if they don't like you, they're not going to go to your movies. Um, you know, you, you, there's many of actors who kind of fell out of favor with fans. And so they're their movies. They can't, you can't, can't buy, um, the, you know, it's hard in, in today's we cancel culture is real. So, you know, any missteps and people can turn on you quickly. Absolutely. So the fact that the rock was able to turn heel do a lot of heelish things and still walk out of that as it's still the most followed American on the planet is is unreal and is amazing. Speaking of not tying together, but a little different is Will Smith going from his situation as we as everyone around the world knows about him him and his altercation with Chris Rock. And I thought that was gonna be the end of Will Smith. And Will Smith has come back and I'm I'm super jacked over the fact that they, they're having their the bad boy series. I'm not getting a not a sponsorship for it right now. So uh, but I would love to have it because that is one of my that is one of my favorite series of all time. I got you know, I will be at the theater watching the next bad boy. Uh but looking at how The Rock and how Will Smith, these two guys have kind of managed to make it through and still be clean and 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 popular and loved is is impressive especially with the rock trying to be a, turning to a heel and Will Smith and all the things that happened with Jada and then leading to the Chris Rock uh, altercation like I'm doing that but avoiding uh saying things like yeah. <laughs> so I can't even interject because I don't quite know what exactly you're avoiding. So I don't want to say the wrong thing. Uh, well, you know what, well, what, I know what you're referring to, but yes. I don't know what words you're trying to avoid. So I'm oh, you saying. know my words are very colorful. Yes. Thank yes. Thank um, but both of these guys have really come through and came out on the other side, uh, just as popular, and it, it it's it's amazing and. I remember The Rock as a coming in as a wrestler, and and people were chanting "Rocky sucks" and all this stuff. And now look at him as as where he's gone is truly, truly impressive. This is still on topic, but veering mm -hmm. away from what you were just talking about, I I don't know a lot of the history of the Guinness Book of World Records. I know it's been around <laughs> for a long time, but but I'm thinking about my my brother had a. a a copy of one of the years when we were kids and flipping through it and seeing you know what records were in there they're, they're definitely evolving with the times because the yeah. most followed actor on TikTok, most you know that, that that's good that they they aren't just stuck in trying to to, to stick with the same old records they, they they seem like they're evolving and creating new records all the time but wait a minute there's i feel like who makes these records up that's the question because the it could be like format. I'm the person who's written on the most post-it notes and threw them in the trash. And that's in the, the new Guinness Book of World Record. Right? You know what I mean? It's like, come on, give me something. How do you put something in the Guinness Book of World Record so it gets qualified? This is, a, is like... This is something I need to look up, apparently. Yeah, or the most followed man in America. Do you break it? Like you said, do you are they breaking it down by country? Are you, is there is there a Guinness Book of World Record the most popular man most followed man in Swaziland? Mm -hmm. You you understand what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Are you the most most followed individual in South Korea? North Korea would be more fun though. Do you get what do you get when you win a Guinness Book of World Records? Do you get a trophy? Do you get uh, a plaque? Do you get <laughs> you don't a get? I don't think you get squat. You just get your name in that year's I, Guinness Book. Of yeah, Records. I don't see. I don't know if that really pays that much. I, I 
You know, because I think it'd be more people breaking records if it came with a people check. Are always trying to break something, though. Like, you know, the most people standing on one leg for the longest time. I don't know. There's all kinds of people always seem to be trying something. Give me, put me down for the record for a person spending the most cash by the Guinness Book, uh, the Guinness Book of World Record gives me money. I'll keep spending it. Oh. <laughs> put me down for that one. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, right. Well, um. We'll see if we can get that added. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't foresee that happening. That's your homework: is finding out how you get something into the Guinness Book of World Records, a new, a new category. All right. Um, so, all right, we're going to take our final break of this episode. When we come back, uh, new records, but this time with a new single by Eminem. So we'll be talking about that. You are tuned into the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 